If you watched any amount of the preseason football games on NFL, uh, NFL football games in week one, you probably got a couple of takeaways, as did I. One of the major things was the fact that Zach Wilson is the perfect building piece for the New York Jets. Before we get into why Zach Wilson absolutely looks like the perfect building piece for the New York Jets, make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. Now, with the Jets, there's a couple things to look at. Their quarterback situation for, throughout the last th a few years. Um, actually, I actually had some love for Sam Darnold, so I can't even say that. But what I will say is, throughout the last few years, it just the coach and the quarterback situation didn't look like it was just going to work out. A lot of love for Darnold, um, but it just didn't seem like there was a lot that we could honestly go on. But after the first preseason game, we can definitely see that there is a lot to build around with Zach Wilson. Um, and overall, Zach Wilson played pretty well. Um, you talk about uh, well, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be very honest here. Uh, very modest numbers, but I mean he did not play, um, you know, as much as I probably would have liked. But I mean, I would have liked all these quarterbacks to at least, or these rookie quarterbacks to play at least half of the game. But okay. Um, but Zach Wilson finished six of nine for 63 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Um, but he did a very nice job. Um, got him a couple first down gunman field goal range as well. Um, and honestly, he looked every bit of the part as was advertised uh, for being the number two overall pick in the 2021 NFL draft. Now, uh, again, I do have to say that uh, it's very early. Um, and I understand that just it's hard to base things off one game. But when you're going against, you know, a team like the Giants, who I've actually been very high on. Uh, you see a lot of, uh, and you have some, you know, expectations going forward. Zach Wilson, in my mind, absolutely uh, did a great job of uh, coming in and proving a lot of, uh, a lot of those questions, or at least putting those questions to rest. Um, but overall, you talk about guys, uh, I, and in my mind, I'm watching a lot of these uh, and how this all unfolded, and I'm actually very excited for the Jets as a whole because if you consider um, him already coming out and playing like that, there's a lot of things to be excited about. Um, now, again, we finished, you know, uh, went 6 of 16 or whatever, or 6 of 9, excuse me. Um, you know, Denzel Mims caught a pass, caught three passes for 51 yards. Um, Corey Davis caught a couple. This offense, to me, is looking pretty scary. Um, and if I'm being honest, you know, I don't think we got, I wanted a little bit more of a sample size, especially from Wilson, but we'll take what we can get at this point, um, especially with how, uh, you know, it's only preseason. But again, I will say that uh, this New York Giants offense is, uh, looking fantastic. You got Tevin Coleman and Michael Carter at running backs. Also, Ty Johnson ran the heck out of the football. I think he needs more of an opportunity, obviously. Corey Davis and Elijah Moore at wide receivers. I think if Elijah Moore gets more of an opportunity, he can have a huge impact. Also, we talked about Denzel Mims, Jamison Crowder still on the squad, Keelan Cole as well. This, I mean, honestly, I, I think that Zach Wilson is the perfect building piece, and I think he's the perfect guy to deliver the ball to some of these receivers. I think that these, especially these Mims um, and Elijah Moore, can really absolutely just come out and dominate uh, at the NFL level. You liked what you saw from both of them. Uh, you know, Moore, the, the second round pick, and then Mims, um, also another player. No, the, here's the thing. Mim, Denzel Mims just didn't get, I don't think he, uh, you know, the the relationship with Mims and Darnold last year clearly uh, wasn't great, but I will say, you know, he caught, uh, you know, what, 23 balls for 357 yards last year. Um, you know, the former Baylor Bear. Uh, you got to love what you see, um, but I do, I do think that at the end of the day, uh, it is worth noting that uh, there's a lot left to be going here there's a lot left to uh you know for to be seen from everybody not just memes not just zach wilson not just you know the jets offense there's a lot to be seen um all around you know uh, both by the way former uh, second round picks memes um uh excuse me sorry uh memes and Elijah Moore, I had a brain fart there for a second. But yes, uh, when you consider all of these, both of these guys that are both have good size, both have good speed, um, both uh, that were high, uh, drafted with a relatively high draft picks, you're always already seeing some good things from Denzel Mims. Elijah Moore, um, I don't think he played in the first game, but it doesn't matter. I think that uh, what I've just seen from his tape, um, over a thousand yards last year, uh, this is going to be a squad, especially with how well Zach Wilson played. Am I the only one that noticed how well this man absolutely put the ball in the place where it needed to be? I was absolutely just. I was flabbergasted. I was so excited. Um, even some of his, pl uh, in, in a couple of articles I've seen, they called them, you know, Aaron Rodgers type throws. Let's pump the brakes a little bit, but we can't get excited about what we saw. Um, and that was very clearly that, you know, Zach Wilson, 
uh, was efficient. He got the ball out in a timely manner, and he made some plays. Uh, and I think he is every bit as advertised uh, for being the number two uh, overall pick in this year's, this year's draft. So, uh, But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. helps people find the show. Make sure you check out our website at thesportsbeatpodcast.com. Uh, give us a listen and a follow on iTunes, please. That would really, really help us out. Um, and also in the description down below, you will find all of our social media platforms. Make sure you give us a follow there. And if you have anything you would like us to cover, make sure that you send us those uh, those ideas at the sports bp at yahoo.com but overall let us know what you think about zach wilson's performance and his ability to be the perfect building piece for the new york jets